Is everybody enjoying the World's Fishing Fair? There's Bill Dance and Jimmy Houston, freaking legends of fishing. Check out that catfish. What is going on guys and welcome back to another fishing adventure. So today I have a seven hour and 45 minute drive to Springfield, Missouri. I'm heading down to the Bass Pro Shops Fishing Fair. It is going to be awesome. A ton of fishing pros will be there. There's concerts, Luke Bryan, Luke Holmes, Dirk Bentley, a whole bunch of other country singers. And then also Dude Perfect from YouTube will be there. So I'm excited to meet all those guys. Also, there's gonna be a bunch of companies down there. Okuma is going down there. I have not seen those guys in a while, so it's gonna be cool to hang out with them. And uh, it's just gonna be awesome. I'm also testing out the truck camper for the very first time. They're gonna be sleeping in it for the first time, so I'm super stoked about that, but we have a long drive to get there. The fair actually starts today, but yesterday the weather was pretty bad. There's supposed to be hell and tornadoes along the path I had to take. So I was like, you know what, let's play it safe. And I'll just head down there tomorrow. So I'll get there on day two, but guys, I'm excited. It is going to be awesome. So it is the next day and we arrived at the Bass Pro Shops World's Fishing Fair here in Springfield, Missouri. This is going to be awesome. They even rolled out the red carpet for me. I told them not to, but they insisted. <laughs> Crappie. They're so still, it doesn't even look real. This is how they look when I throw my jig past them. Just standing there looking at it. That's pretty cool. They have a live scope of the fish in this tank. Morning. Morning. Paw Patrol. For some reason, I feel like I could win this. <laughs> Dude, this looks so fun. That's like a little fun little course to set up and just to get better at casting. Fun fact, me and Devin, our kayaks, they have the handles on the front with the little hole that you put your hand in. And we would always get real far apart and try to cast into that hole in front of the kayak. It's really scary. That's a good way to practice. You're either gonna make it in the hole or hit your friend in the face with a lure and probably get a hook in his eyeball. <laughs> not very safe, but when you're not catching fish, you have fun. Dude, this is awesome just to be here. I walked inside a little bit, but we barely even touched the surface of this place. People are starting to pour in here. We're about to get this event started. Oh, say can you see and the rock is red the world's fishing fair so i was filming the national anthem and i just look over and like oh that's kevin van dam it's so crazy just to have like professionals that you've heard about your entire life just casually standing around it like caught me off guard i was like oh kevin van dam sick oh sorry america <laughs> cut off the national anthem it's kevin van dam though all right he's uh he's huge all right so day two of the bass pro shops has officially started i am excited i'm gonna walk around the store check everything out this is a huge bass pro shop so there's a lot to see we also got to go find okuma go say what's up to those guys go check out all the gear let's check this place out hi there so, how's it going good oh that's so cool so his name is garfunkel he's an american alligator that is awesome 
Awesome. Thank you so much. I just touched the gator. Crazy. So many brands. Where's Okuma? I'll take a decal. Awesome. Thank you. The goal is to get as many decals as possible today. There's a Sherry Lunker truck. That truck has seen many, many big bass. Yeah, what's on the back? <laughs> I was like, what's on the back? <laughs> Owner. Where are y'all from? Uh, I'm from Texas, Amarillo. Amarillo. Very okay. top. Okay. Y'all doing any Ned rigging? You know, oh yeah, oh yeah. This is our uh, blockhead Ned rigging. We got all different sizes, two different colors. Two ninety seven at this show. Ready at five fifty. As soon as this event is over, back to five fifty. I didn't know y'all even did that yeah. And we got that nice wire keeper that can hold Z-Man. It can hold any of those baits. I'll yeah. get one. There you go. Thank, Thank you very much. Thank y'all. All right. First purchase of many, I'm sure. Okuma. I found them. What's up, man? Freezing my butt off. How's your deal? Nice to meet you. Deal? Nice to meet you. What do y'all got? Show me around. Yeah, we got a little bit going on over here at the Okuma booth. So we brought just bass stuff, a little bit of crappie stuff. But we do have like the new Psycho Stick Rods. Sexy, sexy. First time anybody's seen these out this way. <laughs> We've got uh, the new Akai reels up on the rack. So we got some of the right hand, some of the left hand. We've even got a couple of the new finesse reels with the shallow spool to show off. These aren't going to be available until like August, but we, we do have them. Of course, we got the ITX reels that you've been fishing a little bit. Oh, yeah. And some of the tactical green bait feeders and spinning reels. And then so, that's, I'm sorry? so that's the new color? That's, Everyone's... A, that's the updated color, yeah. That's not bad. That's so not it's bad. great. It's like the Toyota, the Tundra color. So as most of you guys know, the channel is lucky enough to be sponsored by Okuma. If you're looking for some awesome new fishing gear and want to help support the channel, I got some links down in the description for all the Okuma gear I use. And I can honestly say it is the best fishing gear I have ever used in my life. They just dropped this Hakai reel, and I promise you, you will never want to cast another reel after casting the Hakai. So guys, go check it out. Yeah, buddy. Dave Brown, Akuma Fishing Tackle. Yeah. Thanks for stopping by. Want to introduce yourself? Uh, Gil Perez with Akuma Fishing. Awesome, awesome. Thanks it's for nice to meet you. You too, of buddy. Of course. Yeah, yeah, buddy. Have fun. Thank you. That blue and white though is epic. Looks so freaking clean. And then the all black. Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Look at this floor space, dude. And the deck space. Holy crap, this thing is huge. Ranger doing it big. white and black guys i'm not a fan of the consoles looking like this it just looks like it's gonna break i passed up a lot of boats that uh had that just because it looks so weird i'm sure some people like it though everyone has their own opinion but all right guys this is the very first bass pro shops they have like a a store in here that pretty much mimics 
the very first one. Pretty cool. So here is the replica of the very first store. Welcome fishermen, hunters, and other boozers. This, this was our rows of uh, fishing tackle through here. And we had our rods up on top. And we didn't have much ceiling space, so we poked a lot of holes in the ceiling. <laughs> 3543 South Camel. So there's the original location. Business. This was Bass Pro Shop right here. Brings back a lot of great memories pulling in here. It's been an amazing journey. We're pulling into the side of the original Round Derby. That was embarrassing. Shop. Guys, look how freaking big this bass is. 20 pounds at 20 pounds 28 inches long and 32 inches in girth ethel was the largest bass in captivity she was caught in november 26 1986 in lake fork texas by mark stevenson 11 years old at 17 pounds okay so she was caught at 17 pounds which was a state record but now she grew to 20 pounds freaking crazy dude Crazy, crazy, 20 pound bass. You guys think we'll ever see another 20 pound bass? Is that really how the road is? Dude, it's that steep, that is crazy. I don't watch NASCAR or anything, but it's cool to see the cars and trucks and whatnot. July 2015, Daytona. For a moment, Austin Dillon was the center of racing attention and not in a good way. Why? His car was airborne, flying into a catch fence at Daytona and out of control. When it was over, when the mangled hulk of his car and the thousands of pieces came to rest, Dillon was lucky to be alive. Dillon's car was hit by Denny Hamlin's car at the end of the 2015 Coke Zero 400. That hit vaulted Dylan's car into the air and started a flip that sent it into the fence near the start finish line at around 200 miles per hour. 54.5, and now it's just a long little run. Watch the car stop. Watch the car stop. It gets into those poles, and it goes from, I don't know, what, 180, 190 miles an hour, I'm just guessing, to a complete stop. That is unbelievable. And that is, is extremely heavy. You see here, after he's upside down, the two is, is spinning. Obviously, he's already lost control, makes more contact with the three. This will be a wild ride. That was Tony Stewart going underneath the three. And here was the response from Austin Dillon. After he got out, pulled the helmet off. The crowd was roaring at this point in time. We played off as drivers because you don't want to think about it. This is a uh, bad crash here to end this one. Austin Dillon upside down into the outside catch fence. You go run over somebody. Everybody stop right there here. Turn one. I hit his freaking engine. Oh. No. Oh, my God, man. You see that? Jesus. He's lucky to be alive. His car is destroyed. There's his car, guys. Freaking insane. This is history right here. Again, I don't watch NASCAR, but I know the history. Freaking epic, dude. All right, guys, we're about to do some burnouts in the NASCAR. It's gonna be sick, it's gonna be loud. Anybody here for a burnout? Okay, I'm gonna get way back. <laughs> you are nasty. Guys, can we move you back a little bit here, please? Just a little bit. Thank you. Somebody introduce you to Mr. Richard Childress. And Daytona 500 champion, Mr. Austin Dillon. Push 
happy with what we got. Yeah. Woo! Everyone clap. Car broke down, how sad. Oh god, this is so Oh, push shot. Oh! So close to the We got one, dude. Yeah. Come on, start my hat. How's it going? Good to do it. Thank you so much. How's it going? Hey, how are you? I'm good. How are you? Fine. We can play. We know who to complain to. That's right. Go, come straight. Thanks so much. You mind signing my hat for me? No, man. Yeah, just a little too. Thank you so much, man. Awesome, thank you. Okay, all right, cool. How's it going, man? How's it going? Thank you so much. Yes, sir. How are you doing? I got one, thank you. Got one, okay. What's up, man? How you doing, man? It's funny, I parked next to your there truck you last night. I recognize it. Oh, really? Like, no way. <laughs> At the, at the large? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I got one. Thank you so much. I'm going. Come on, side of my hat. You might be running out of room there. Ah, uh, you got plenty of room on here. There you go. Awesome. Thanks so much. You're welcome. How's it going, Kevin? Good. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you. Hey, thank you, man. How are you doing? Good. I'm good. How are you? Doing well. How's it going? Come on, side of my hat, bro. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, man. Yeah. Hey, thank you so much. Awesome, thank you so much, man. Just got the Okuma hat signed by all the crews. Pretty freaking awesome, dude. It's insane, man. It's so weird being around a bunch of pros. I'm from a very small town, so I never get to do stuff like this. So this is amazing. It's crazy. <laughs> There's Bill Dance and Jimmy Houston, freaking legends of fishing. Holy crap! <laughs> and any TT fans in the house? Thank you guys. Thank you. Appreciate that. Okay, to the outdoors, to hunting and fishing. Uh, and that for me was a very cool, very surreal experience that I'll never forget. I do not say this lightly. It was even better than Luby's fried fish. Yes. I mean, he knew what he Bold. was doing. Yeah. Bold. And Luby's is great, for it sure. It is up there. Also, Kobe and I contributed a grand total of zero of those fish to that meal that There is night. no need to share that with this crowd. It's just the truth. Uh, what other first or second tries? There's so many times. So <laughs> many. And you know what? We don't have time to get all, into all, all of them. All of our trick shots are on the first try. Yeah, yeah. Great I don't question. Know what you're alluding to, Ty. Yeah, sorry about that. We got kids in the audience. Yes. Yeah. Loser is going to have to deal with the consequences, Good luck. obviously. Okay, we've got the ball split up. After further review, we reviewed the footage. Both Addy One and Owen hit their targets pretty close to simultaneously. <laughs> so both parties will have a pie to. <laughs> 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 All right, guys, so we are back home in Texas. As you can see, the weather is freaking nice and hot. I went to Oklahoma, and I was going to fish a bunch of the lakes on the way home, but it was raining. It rained all day, so uh, I was like, screw it. I'll just go home and fish my local lake, take out the bass boat. Uh, I miss this thing. But, guys, I had an absolutely awesome time at the Bass Pro Shops fishing fair. I was geeking out the whole time, man. With all those pros around, it was so freaking awesome. But this is not the last video from Missouri. My buddy actually came up to Table Rock Lake, which is 45 minutes from Springfield. He brought his bass boat. We got an Airbnb down at Table Rock Lake. 
on the water and uh, we fished for a day and a half. The fishing was tough, but that video will come out probably tomorrow. So guys, I hope you all enjoyed the video. Like it and subscribe. Yeah.